Oh. That's what revolutionised the uh, steam engine. We're in the Bolton Museum. We've, we've restored, sorry, preserve all these ancient, well, not even Victorian, some of them are Edwardian uh, steam engines. And uh, some models of all the ones. So we had a heavy industry combined with these um, art rights piston and we also, then we had Samuel Crompton who invented this spinning loom which is the what you call every every cotton cotton mill in the world use that that process and still some of them still use something similar to that uh, today so because we've got to get steel and iron a lot of the industrial Machines were built in Bolton, including a lot of trains. But all that's gone now. So before your actual trains, this is what your steam power is used for. This is a private museum. It's uh run by donations, that's it. You see a lot of places in the northwest made machinery, so therefore later on they made trains, planes. Here's a bit of piston. Yeah, with the pistons before, one used to go up and one used to go down. So Artride invented this where it's like a compression piston. Same as what you have on a motorbike really, and it shoots it back to the top. That was his great invention. And of course, steam power for electricity as well, which was uh, we have some big spanners. <laughs> well, the mirrors turned up. Boiler. Yes, it's the first time I've ever been in here. This is Steam Museum. I think it's only the one of the few that doesn't do railway engines. Because uh, it's our industrial heritage, so. You would have had it on a farm or something. Produce electricity. Oh, you had it for different usages.